In 2018, the UN put out a report that said we have only 30 years to prevent the most disastrous effects of the climate crisis. Consumers and how we decide to change our behavior is going to be one of the determining factors in whether or not we achieve our goals. 65% of global emissions are directly influenced by household consumption. So the ways that we eat, we drive, we shop, all of those things have carbon impact. It's not our fault that the climate crisis is happening, but that doesn't mean we don't have any power to address it. The way that we spend money is a really powerful lever for change. Joro shows you the power that you have by democratizing access to carbon data. I grew up outside Boston. My parents had immigrated to the US for graduate school. My mother worked in biotech and my dad worked in software. Climate change was something that I was aware of growing up, but I didn't really think of myself as an environmentalist until I was living and working in Ethiopia and I was talking to farmers and agro-processors every day, seeing the effects of the climate crisis in their eyes. And that was what really motivated me to focus my career on climate. I studied economics in college. I definitely approached climate change through that lens. The genesis for Joro came out of my own personal practice of tracking my carbon footprint and then realizing that I wasn't the only person who had that problem. 33% of Americans are so concerned about climate change that they want to do something on a daily or weekly basis. Joro helps people decarbonize their lives by tracking, reducing, and offsetting the emissions of everything they buy. So you can download the mobile app from the App Store, you can connect your credit or debit cards to automatically see the emissions behind every purchase. You're not only getting the cost or the place that you're buying it from, you can also see the carbon. People don't realize that energy is really embedded in everything we do. We see it when we go to the gas pump but we don't see it when we buy a t-shirt. So we like to break down someone's carbon footprint into five categories. Here's what you eat, what you buy, how you travel, how you power your home, and your finances. So just understanding where the biggest drivers of where emissions come from can help us focus our efforts on things that are achievable and impactful. You won't always make the lowest carbon choice, but at least you know when you're making that choice that you're doing it intentionally. We found that the average Dora user reduces their emissions by 21% and saves about $3,000. If everyone in the US did that, we'd have an impact like taking every car off the road and shutting down 40% of coal plants. In the short term, educating consumers about our carbon footprint helps us make different choices and reduce emissions right away. But in the longer term, it helps us demand lower carbon choices from our politicians and from our businesses. I definitely felt a lot of climate anxiety when I was starting Joro. Often it comes from this feeling of powerlessness. There's a couple things that we can do to address climate anxiety. The first is just acknowledging that it's real. The second is connecting with other people. So in the app, you can follow friends. You can see a leaderboard of other people who are taking action as well. And knowing you're not alone can provide a lot of comfort. With climate, it can always feel like we're looking for the right answer, like there's one silver bullet. And the reality is emissions are part of everything we do. And so everything we do matters. You can start where you are. You can take a small step. You can take a big step. We need all of it. I'm Sanchali Paul, the founder and CEO of Joro.